Good morning everybody, welcome to today's Craft TV. It is a lovely morning and today I've got the complete privilege and honour to share with you the first time we're introducing a Cadence show um, here on Craft TV which is something really, really exciting because as some of you may know I've worked with Cadence for quite a while now and it's been an amazing journey but to be able to then sit down here with you today and say we're going to start right back at the beginning so I can talk you through what all of those products do. You may have dipped your toe into Cadence before but what we're gonna do is take it straight back to the basics and I can show exactly what you can do just with the paint. Um, so it's gonna be an amazing show full of techniques and tips, uh, but throughout the show, do give us comments as well. Let us know if you want to know anything more, or maybe I've missed something out, or maybe you'd like me to see, you want me to do something different with the paints. I want you to be able to get the most you can out of this video. So it's gonna be up here on the Facebook page to stay, so you'll be able to watch it back later. So. If you see me do something today and you think, well, I'll do that when I get home later, you can do it because you can go back and watch it. So it's it's going to be there for you. So treat it as a sit back and relax, or you could get your paints out now as well if you're already in your craft room and craft along with me as well. Because what I want to do is do start to finish. So I want you to show you the starting point and straight to the finishing point. So these are projects you can do within an hour. Um, so maybe if it's a little gift or a token, and we've got some amazing deals for you as well, which is a complete exception because Cadence is a premium quality product and it's been bought to you at the most affordable price uh, that we can bring it. So if you are joined us already, thank you ever so much for joining us today. It is lovely to have you. And let us know what, what you're doing today, what you're crafting with or what you want to try. Maybe this is something that you might have thought, well, Paint isn't really a medium I've gone into. Maybe you watch a lot of our two Red Robin shows or one was without paper crafting and you think, well, paint is something I've not really tried to bring into my craft. I'd love to be able to show you how you can do that. And it's all about building the confidence with paint because when we use the phrase mixed media, sometimes a lot of people can feel intimidated with it. And I myself sometimes feel a little bit like that. So you're not on your own. But um, it's an amazing way to be able to actually think, well, just a little bit of finger wax can enhance or completely change the way a dye might look. So in today's video, I'm gonna show you exactly how we can do that. So on the first bundle for you we have is our hybrid acrylic paints. Now you can see in this selection, you're getting three 70 ml bottles, and these are taffy, light lilac, and dark gray. Now these are a beautiful color tone, originally 11.97 at the amazing price of 7.64 if you're a Robin's Nest member, which is incredible. That's amazing value for money. I've not actually seen the hybrid acrylics at that price before with us here. That's amazing. Um, these are your hybrid acrylic paints and you're getting a saving there of £4.33. And what the hybrid acrylic means, and I'll go through all of this in detail throughout the show, is these are multi-surface. So anything you want to paint, you can paint with your hybrid acrylics. You've got a beautiful contemporary set of shades there as well. And it works out at £2.54 each a bottle. So for each one of those shades, you can recreate your own. But for £2.54 a bottle is an immense saving you've got there. That's incredible. Another set of three that we have for you of your 70 mil pots of paint is your turquoise, lemon yellow and white. Now these are great because those two beautiful vibrant pops of colour can be toned down in whichever colour way you want with your white and I can show you how to do that. But for original price of 11 97 down to 8 49 and of course if you're in the Robin's Nest member you are getting that for 7 64 so an amazing price of 2 54 a bottle. You're saving £4.33, so you're saving almost two bottles worth of value for money there, which is incredible. Um, beautiful colours, are really vibrant, strong pigment as well. And in our third bundle that we have of the hybrid acrylics, we're getting Oxford Green, Natural Canvas and Antique White, so a lovely contemporary classical range to work with. Great all across craft as well, multi-seasonal because you can tone these up and down. 11.97 again down to 7.64 if you are a robin's nest member which is great because you're saving four pounds 33 so again really really brilliant value for money that you're getting there now this is one of my personal favorites this is your hybrid acrylic metallic paints so they have the same compound and body as your hybrid acrylics but with this one you're getting that metallic shimmer that runs through this like a pearlescent mirror it's incredible so 1497 bring it down to 10 pounds 79 if you are a robin's nest member which is a brilliant saving of four pounds 18. that's amazing for your hybrid metallics they're a premium product this one and you get a beautiful shade of antique gold copper and bronze really nice metallic shades 
Now we go on to three beautiful little goodies there, which is your mixed media shimmer ink sprays. Now blue, sunshine, yellow, and orange are the three colorways that we've got in this bundle for you, down to eight pounds and seven if you are a Robin's Nest member. A brilliant saving on this one as well, but you've got really vibrant pops of color with an element of shimmer mica. So this one actually has a mica compound within the ink, meaning you don't just get a spritz of color, you also get a reflective finish with this one. So it gives an amazing finish to creating your own cardstock, your pearlescent finishes, and enhancing any project you've desired to make. So your next one within this bundle that you're actually going to get um, is, sorry, bear with me just a second, <laughs> Dora Waxes, and this is the Malahite. This one is beautiful. It's an opulent emerald green you can see in there with a flash of gold. This is from the Dora family from Cadence, so $5.99 down to $5.39. And when I say Dora family, I'm saying this is from an exclusive family of shimmery paints. They've got metal gilding flakes within them, meaning you get a most creamy, velvety finish with these, but they are a dream to work with, and I can't wait to show you what these look like. But thank you as well to everyone that's joining. I can see your comments through as well. There. I'm excited too. I can see Lou Foster. Exciting news, new product. Yes, definitely. I'm really glad that you're being able to join us today. Uh, Dora Wax is again in our rich gold. Now this one is beautiful. You can see the here. This one, it's a must have. And I'm not gonna lie to you, it is a must have within your craft stash because I use this all the time, whether I'm working on fabric, whether I'm working on paper craft, mixed media, wooden items or glass. It's a great way to finish something off and it adds just a kiss of shimmer. $5.99 down with a Robin's Nest member price of $5.39 is an incredible value for money saving on this one because you're getting a lot of wax in that pot and you're gonna find yourself using it in so many different ways. You could even turn it into a water spritzer. Now Distress Pace as well is a great way to maybe add that shabby chic effect to something or tone something down or maybe if you're upcycling. This is in the shade Antique Maroon and what Distress Pace is, is it comes in a large pot, it's 150ml in there, £6.29 if you're a Robin's Nest member. It's actually going to be able to blend out into projects so you could use this on furniture, maybe if you're upcycling an old chair or a chest of drawers or maybe if you just want to do an MDF shape, I'm gonna do exactly that today and show you how you can use this brilliant product. But of course, all those Nest members price, which are so enticing, you might want to know how to join. And of course, for £24, you get a 12 month membership to become a Robin's Nest member. And the benefits included within that are 10% off all purchases on the Highlight Crafts website. You do get free delivery as well on orders over £25 you actually get early access as well to web exclusives. So we bring those web exclusives to you, whether they're in die form or whatever we do, you get the first one to see with early access. You get a Robin's Nest lanyard as well, which is a lovely little goodie to have in there, bring it to the show. You get a pin badge as well, so you can place this maybe on a project or you can put it in the car or you could put it on your seatbelt, anything like that. It's a lovely little token. You do get special offers. You get a lovely window sticker. And of course as well, you get to hear about all the workshops and retreats first as well, meaning that you've got the first hand in depth detail, knowing exactly where you can find us, what we're doing and what's coming up next, which is brilliant because it's like being part of a, a secretive club, but you get to share so much inspiration and experience with everybody, so it's brilliant. So as well, thank you again, everyone for joining us. It's such a lovely morning, isn't it today? But I want to get straight into demonstrating for you. Now on the show, you'll be able to find these all on the Highlight Crafts website. We have some projects for you to be able to work on. So what I wanted to do today was make sure that whatever I'm creating, you can do at home. Um, so I'm not using something where I've had to go and find it from the shop and you think, well, I can't find something the same. I've actually got an MDF heart. Now what I've done first is I've just given this a coat of white paint and it comes blank MDF. We have them on the, on the website. I've chosen to do this one first because I can show you how quickly it is to upcycle. So I've added that white paint just onto the top and I've dipped into a bundle um, of my hybrid acrylics and it's just the shade white. Okay, so that's what I've used for this particular one. I'm then going to go into my first bundle that we covered, which has got that dark gray, we've got our light lilac and our taffy in there. So you can see we've got these three colors and you can see on the bottom there, this is literally like you're seeing these firsthand. The shades that you're actually getting, they are absolutely beautiful. They are exquisite and as well they tone together so beautifully. Imagine doing these as a bouquet of flowers with the vase. They look opulent, they're creamy, but let's see them in action. So first what I'm going to do is take some tape. Now I've chosen to use this tape today. We've got it on the website as well so you can use this too. It's a stencil masking tape but it's great for paint and the reason for that is it blocks the paint. So the tack, some tapes feel extremely sticky like they're getting a mess and you can't actually work with them. 
This one doesn't feel too tacky until you place it onto the surface. So I'm gonna start by masking the center of this heart because it'll give me then an even distribution throughout. So I've got my masking tape here, then I'm gonna take a little bit off, tear it in half like this. And this is a great way to get the same width of blocking across here. So what I'm doing is creating stripes. I'm gonna put a little bit here and a little bit here. Then I can get a full length of tape again and then put it here. So now I know that my width of my stripes are gonna be the same each way around. So again, I'm gonna take that little bit of tape here and a little bit of tape here again. And I'm gonna take a full width one last time on this side and place it straight down. As well, if you have got some of your mixed media products, maybe you've got your brushes, your stencil brushes, your palette knives, and you're thinking, well, I've not used these in a, in a long time. This is something I've not really touched on. Now is a brilliant time to do it. For one, obviously the incredible price. I mean, 764 for three hybrid acrylics is phenomenal. But not just that, but it's a great way of actually picking up a new technique and thinking, well, once I've actually got the technique down, because that's all it is, is once you know the technique, you can do anything. You can then apply it to all your different crafts and it sort of changes the way. And of course, when you are crafting, I tend to sometimes get in a rut and I might start recreating the same sort of project or I might um, think, well, I've done this a few times and how do I switch it up? Dipping into something like paint or wet mediums allows you to explore different techniques within crafts. So it's always a really refreshing thing to do. So I'd recommend it for anyone if you're sat thinking, well, you know what? I'd like to give it just a little try. Now's the perfect time. So I'm gonna save these two little pieces I've got here as my dividers. So I'm just gonna make sure this is sealed down either edge, a little bit like when you're trying to get that line above your skirting board when you're decorating your house and you don't want it to go all over the edge. That's what we've done here. So I'm gonna start off with the, I think I'm gonna start off with the dark gray. Okay, so I'm gonna give it a quick shake first. And I mentioned hybrid acrylics to you in, at the start of the video and what they actually are. And what they are, they are an acrylic based paint so they've got plastic in them, but you can see there, it's got, a, it's got a shine to it at first. It almost looks glossy, but it dries semi-matte, but this will go onto any surface you wish to apply it to. Now there's curing processes and drying times, but they're so easy to work with. Um, if you want to place this onto glass, you can place it onto wood, you can put it onto concrete, paper, construction board, cork, fabric, felt, perspex, acrylic, you name it. If you want to put it onto a surface, you can do that. If you want it to go onto glass and you want it to go in the washing machine, if you leave it to air dry for 21 days, it cures permanently. If you want to do that between coats as well, give about 12 hours between coats, but it's a permanent finish. So back in the days of using paint where it had to be permanent, it would be oil-based and sometimes it would be quite toxic and give off of quite a fragrant fume. This one is water-based, so it's safe for all of the family to use. And I've never worked with a paint that's so um, indestructible that is so non-toxic and family safe. So I can load up my brush here with a bit of that dark gray. And I want to show you that just onto white with one simple brush stroke like this, it's covered that immediately. I've got an instant block of paint on there. So I'm not having to do multiple coats, like layering it up, getting claggy amounts of paint on there. I'm literally loading my brush, going straight over the top. And I'm not being cautious because I've masked off my lines. I'm gonna go straight over like that. And then I'm gonna show you, just there we are. I'm gonna set my brush to one side, just over here. I'm gonna take a heat gun straight to my project. I'm just gonna give it a quick blast, okay? And I'm just doing it on the areas I've painted here because I want to show you how quick it actually dries. Now I've used that flat brush to apply the paint. You could have used a sponge, you could have used a palette knife, you could have used um, a bit of cutting news. You could, have, you could use anything. You could use a dusting brush, absolutely any tool you wish to work with, you can apply your acrylic paints with. So it'll take around about 20 seconds just to cover all areas of here. There we go. So I'm just making sure to go all around the edges, all on the surface. And this is now permanent on here because I've gone onto a, a hard surface like wood. Once this is on, you'll never get it off, which is amazing because if you're going to be upcycling furniture, it's great. But then if you're also thinking, well, brilliant, I can upcycle my furniture, you can actually use this outside. Maybe you've got some plant pots you want to redecorate. It will go outside and it will last a lifetime, which I absolutely love because it's weather resistant. Hybrid means it's multi-use, it's multi-surface, it's universal. It's a brilliant technique and it's a brilliant compound within there. 
So now what I'm gonna do is I don't need my spaces just yet. I'm gonna save those for another project, but I'm actually going to then lay this tape back over the gray area. Okay, so I'm gonna place the tape back over. So we're using the same piece, we don't need to waste any. We're gonna go straight back over and just put them on those gray areas that we applied this to. Okay, so I'm gonna work, I'm using my shorter pieces for my smaller amount of paint. As well, if you do ask any comments, um, which I would love you to do, share some of that with me, um, and I've not answered them during the video, I'll make sure to answer those straight after as well. So there's not gonna be any unanswered questions. Um, and if I can't find the answer, I will get it for you and be able to find it. So don't worry about that as well. It's gonna take a fresh piece because these ones are slightly shorter, but as well, save it all, hang it onto the edge of your desk. Or if you've got like, um, if you've got like a wax sheet or like an old sticker sheet, place your tape back on there because you can keep reusing it. So this is on the Highlight Crafts website, it's a stencil tape, so look out for that one as well. Um, and I do think that's on a great price. So I'm gonna lay this down like that. So I've got my gray now blocked out. I'm gonna go into that beautiful light lilac shade. Okay, so give it a quick shake because within your paints, you do have what can look like a clear solution. And every now and again, it can settle at the top if it's been sat on your shelf for a while. Okay, so you want to give it a little shake and what that clear element is, that's the acrylic. Okay, so when you mix it together, the acrylic then formulates and blends with the rest of the paint, creating a bond. And what it's essential to get that bond just right is that's exactly what Cadence have achieved, meaning it will grab to any surface. So what I did at home is I've got my front door and there was rust marks all around the door handle, the wind, it was scratched, it looked really shabby and I couldn't, I couldn't really afford a, a, a new front door. And I got um, a light pale green and I uploaded a photo of it onto Facebook so you might still be able to find that and I painted the whole front door in Cadence and it went directly over rust and it's been on there for about 18, about 16 months now I think and it's not faded, chipped, scratched at all. It's incredible and that was two 70ml bottles because you can water this down. Maybe if you like to watercolour, you can water it down as well and use it as a water paint. So don't just be fooled by how beautifully thick and enriched the pigment is. You can make it as translucent as you want because like this here, did this board just to show you, this is two paints, okay? So this board consists of only two paint. And for example, this isn't the colour I used, but it would do the same thing. We've got a turquoise and a white, okay? So what I started off with was I started with the deep colour, so it was my ocean blue, and then I added a tiny gnats of white paint every single time. And I used about two pea-sized amounts of paint, and I created a colour story that runs right through here, because I thought, I want to know how many colours I can get from two paints, because there's no use in me buying 30 shades of pink when I can recreate that with a red and a white. Um, you, can, you can do that with cadence and that's what it allows you to do and it doesn't affect the opacity of the paint because so many paints I've used previously, if you choose to then put the blending solution or a, a diluting solution to reduce the pigment or make it subtle or faint, it then actually breaks down the formula within the paint. And it sounds a bit sciencey and a bit technical, but what it actually means is you've got a paint that's almost a bit like magic because it will always um, be able to fulfill and sustain its properties. So it will do that throughout the color story on here and you can see that it's done it so well. So it means now if you want to do a painting with the, the perfect sky color, you've got that for every day of the year. So absolute winner bonus with that one. And you can see on there, that's your sticks to low tack stencil tape and you get it in a 25 millimeter thickness, um, which is great. And it's also 25 meters. So you're getting tons on there. That is brilliant. Is that two pounds 80 I can see on there? That is amazing. Two pounds 80 for 25 meters of tape. Wow, that's incredible. You are gonna have tons to work with it. That's like under 10p a meter. That's, in, that's amazing. So um, definitely get hold of that one because then you can create exactly what I'm doing today um, because you want something that's not gonna pull the surface away. So we've had this tape sat on here. Um, I'm gonna pop my gray brush, just sit it in some water because of course we're using permanent paints. We want to protect our tools. Um, I'm gonna go straight into my light lilac and I'm just going to gently then brush this over that white painted surface here again going straight over and you can see it's instant coverage I'm covering light lilac onto a dark gray and onto a white here and you can see that the coverage is just instant I mean that's immaculate and what Cadence endeavor to do and achieve every time is give you that premium quality that you're promised now when you're looking at this, you're probably thinking, I've put loads out there. What you can then do, because it's water-based and all intermixable, you can take a palette knife 
and it can all go back inside the pot. So you don't actually have to waste any of it. So it all goes back in there because a lot of products, when you take them out of the pot and put them back in, they can separate um, with a reaction to the air. Um, a lot of paints have um, a formula in them which affects the drying time, meaning that the, um, the compound within the paint is altered. And that will affect um, how it will go back in the pot. Whereas this, any unused product can go straight back in there, which is great. So I'm just gonna wipe off the excess there. Okay, so we're gonna put our brush back inside our water. Um, thoroughly wash them out just with soap and water. Um, any biological soap's fine with those. So I'm gonna peel this off here. Okay, so I'm gonna take that away. And you can see that tape has blocked out the color. There we are. And I'm just gonna put my finger down there, making sure to put it in the dry areas. So I'm just going to take this tape and I've actually lined it up so I can sit that just there. I can use it again later on, but there's that much on there. You, you can afford um, to actually go into that and use it as you wish. So I'm gonna pick up some of that paint. I'm actually just gonna grab a tissue because one thing I always do, and I do it every time, I don't know why I'm telling you I'm not gonna do it, is that whenever I put paint on my mat, it ends up all over my arms. Um, but because it is water-based, if you do get it anywhere, it will, it will come off and wash before it's set. So just washing up liquid is fine. Um, so on my surface, what I'm going to do is add my heat gun again, just to blast and dry it off, which shouldn't take too long. About 20, 30 seconds drying time. Oh, I'm getting some lovely questions on here as well. I can see some of them slightly. So we've had some questions about Crackle as well. If they are some products that you may have been familiar with with Cadence, let me just quickly finish this off so you can hear me. There we go. So the way that we've done this video for you, um, this is like an introduction into a few little goodies from Cadence. Um, we're gonna be bringing you some more. So we can introduce more to you as we go along. And I, I didn't want to overload you at first and say, we've got this, 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 and this, because you probably wouldn't know what to go for. And I can't fit it all in in an hour to share with you all of that. Um, we could do, but we might both be here all day. Um, and we can do that if you want to. But the thing is, what I want to do is slowly be able to actually tell you everything about each product so that you know exactly what you're getting. Um, so you can see here, that's dried lovely. Then what I'm gonna do is just take a bit of sandpaper because this is freshly cured. I'm gonna go over the top and I'm actually just gonna sand the edges. So I'm going straight down from top to bottom and you can see I'm actually scuffing all of the top, which is giving me a really nice shabby finish to this. Okay, so I'm literally taking off the edges because of course we've heat, heat dried it, but you can see there then, we've almost got like a chalkboard plaque. It scratched the surface and it's brought up that white undertone. So the reason why I painted this MDF white first is because I knew when I laid my deeper colors down, before I've had it allowed it to full cure in process, I can take sand into it and it's buffed all of the edges, meaning it's just sort of softened all those areas that we've chose to work on. So we can take this a step further now. And what I'm going to do is I'm gonna grab the distress paste. Now I mentioned this earlier, now we've got some of these on the website for you and they're on the show that it's a brilliant, brilliant product to use. It's great for softening edges of your projects. So I'm gonna take a, a stencil brush here. This one's actually still got a bit of water in it. Um, I used it earlier and it's always important when you're working with your brushes, and I say important, um, I, would, I would say it's, it's, it's necessary to make sure your brush is dry first because whatever water you've got inside your brush, it will hold it and then as soon as you add your paint, it can muddy the paint and it floods it. Um, and of course we want the paint to act, look at my hands, there we are. It, we, we want the paint to act as we want it to be intended for. So having a dry brush is great unless you want to dilute it down. So I'm literally gonna tip you can see that I've added a tiny bit of paint on the edge of there. I'm gonna take it to my glass mat, or in fact, we can use the lid. Um, that's the lid of my product. And I'm using the lid as a little palette for this. And I'm, then I'm just gonna test it on my, yeah, that's lovely. And what I'm doing there is I'm blending it around the bristles of the brush. So you can see now the brush is fully covered with that product. And then what we can do is take it to the MDF. So I'm gonna pick it up from there. Then I'm gonna start sort of kissing it on the edges with the brush. So I'm just dragging it down just on those edges, I'm gonna pick up a tiny bit more because we're sort of priming the brush here. Pick up a little bit more of that, bring it into the lid and start to blend it around. Okay, and then I'm gonna go right down here again. And this would be a great gift. So those heart-shaped plaques, 
they are great for sending gifts or maybe if you just want to have a little display board in your home maybe it's a welcome sign for somebody as they're coming in i'm going to tilt it around so i'm always dragging sort of towards myself because as you do with this what the brush is doing it's hitting the edge of the mdf then the bristles then carry on bristles the bristles sorry carry on and then go down all over the surface then we can sort of get a bit more confident and that's the reason why i said we only had a tiny bit of product <coughs> do excuse me a tiny bit of product at once is because we don't want to overload it because we can always go in and add more but we can struggle to take it off now distress paste has been formulated in a way to act translucent so you can see there <coughs> I, don't <know. laughs> I don't know what's going on <laughs> please do <coughs> i may as well get it out of the way i'm so sorry if you've got earphones in <coughs> there we are so what we've got there is our beautiful heart shape and that distress paste. I've only done it around the edges. You could go all over with this one to make it look really old and antiqued. Um, but distress paste as well, it's a permanent finish. So you can actually paint this onto glassware. You can paint it onto ceramics. So maybe you've got a beautiful old jug that you've painted up or something. You want to make it look antique. You can paint it onto those surfaces and it will stay. You can actually heat set it in the oven on some surfaces like oven proof glass. Um, but we can go through all those techniques and tips as we go along. This is the way I started with this and it's the way I love to use it because it makes anything just instantly look shop bought or antique found. So we've gone from that stripey effect like this to that beautiful sanded shabby edge and then what i did was i thought what else can we use <coughs> sorry so i've dipped my brush into my water and then i went on the scanning cup and thought i want to make some stencils super super easy so if you've got a scanning cup svg cutting machines i went in and just basically picked a shape and then times it by 300 and had loads of them so i made some stencils on them um, doflex so what i'm going to do is i'm going to go into i picked this one for this particular project and it's like a little um a little cross shape with rounded edges so I made a stencil super quick and easy um, i'm going to lay that down onto my surface here then i'm going to take a bit of that tape and as well because when we applied the distress paste because we buffed it it dries it as you're using it because you're buffing it creating friction which is heat um, so it dries super quickly for you so i'm going to stencil this um, stick the stencil down and then we're going to go into those beautiful waxes. Okay, now we spoke about these earlier. These are the Dora waxes. Now this is your rich gold color. So I'm gonna take this off. And when you're using your Dora waxes, it comes with this plastic cap here with a little pull tab. So you remove it just like that, set it to one side and you want to hang on to the little tab. Okay, and the reason for that is it's cause it's a water-based product. You want to retain the moisture within your product. Cause if you were to leave that sat out there for maybe three or four days, it would dry rock solid. Um, but what keeping the lid on with the screw cap means it always stays creamy and velvety. Let me just show you when I say creamy and velvety. If I take some off here, you can see how amazing is that. It's literally, it's like butter. And it's like sort of like your favourite eyeshadow. A bit in a paint form, meaning you can use it on your craft. And the, the pearlescent mirrored finish you get from that is just astounding. So what I'm going to do is put my palette knife to one side because I'm just going to end up playing with that. Set it down to one side, I'm going to go into a stipple brush and pick a little bit of it up. Okay, so I've got my gold on the edge there and then I'm going to use my glass mat again as my palette and I'm going to stipple and pounce to get that wax into the bristles. So I'm not going to cover the entire image with my stencil, but I'm going to start down at the bottom. There we are. And I'm going to actually pounce onto the surface and because it's a wax, it's not going to flood underneath my stencil. So all I've used is my tape to keep it in place sort of like you would use a load and fold for a stamp. So all I'm doing is making sure it's always going to line up. But because I'm actually pouncing with it, what I'm doing is I can get a nice blend going out. So this is just a way of adding layers and texture. Because when we say mixed media, all we really mean by that is the choice of two different mediums. It could be you've chosen to make a card from paper and then you've put some um, little bits of paint on the edges or you've put a little bit of wax. You've used two different mediums, meaning you've created a mixed media piece. So it's not it's not all, all terrifying, paint splashing, technique heavy. It's literally just playing with two mediums together. And then of course, as you build up your confidence, which is what I did, you can introduce more and more as you go along. So I've done this little section here and I've not, I could go over again and apply more coats, but I wanted it. You can see the shine there before I take this off. The shine and pearlescent finish you get. So let's just remove the tape. 
take that off and it's given us those little pearlescent sections there. And what I'm going to do is then just bring this stencil just into this corner here, just up there like that. And I've created this purely just to show you how to use the products. So you could do whatever you want to with this. Maybe you have a beautiful stencil already, or maybe you just wanted to leave it as it was. But I'm just showing you that this is where you can enhance it. So I'm gonna go in again, stamp and pounce the wax onto the surface. And also when you're pouncing it like this, what you're doing is those metal flakes within there, you're pushing them down with the brush like this. And then as you pull it up, it goes like that, meaning that all those metal flakes come to the surface. And what that does is it catches the light from all different angles. So no matter where this is displayed in your home, it will catch the light beautifully because you've got that stippled effect, meaning that the shine will be caught anywhere. So if I take this off here, what this heart comes with is um, a little string. So we can put the string through the two holes that are all pre-drilled. It's all finished and sanded, so you don't have to do any prep work with this at, at all. It's literally ready to go straight out of the packet. I'm just gonna thread these strings through here, like that. There we go. And then all I'm gonna do is flip it over. I'm just gonna tie a knot on the back like this, and the same on this side. And this is a way that you can use just three different Cadence products. We've used our hybrid acrylics, we've used our waxes to create something beautiful. And that is just a small wall hanging plaque that you could do in any of those colorways. Think of all of those different acrylic bundles we've started with and think of how many different designs you could do this with. You could have stenciled in your hybrid acrylics if you wanted to. You couldn't have, you could have chosen not to use a distress paste to edge it, but to stencil with. There's so many different ways, but every technique that you've got on there, you can apply to all your different projects. So think of things like storage boxes, jewellery keepers, little trinkets, MDF projects, or even on your canvases if you like to work on canvas. This is ways that you can do that, okay? And you can see there the shine that you're getting off there is immaculate. So <coughs> let's move on to the next thing I want to show you. So I'm going to put my wax away and I'm just going to quickly grab a wipe just to wipe my surface. Shan't be a second, just to keep it slightly clean. There we go. <coughs> so I clean up as I go along. You can see there again, those bundles, just to run through it with you, just while I clean this up, you've got your hybrid acrylics in taffy, light lilac, and dark gray for the amazing price of 764. If you are a Robin's Nest member with a saving of four pounds 33, that's two pounds 54 a bottle. As well, you have then got your other set of uh, hybrid acrylics. I'm gonna use these ones next for you. And that is your turquoise, lemon yellow and white. A beautiful array of colours with a nice zingy pop as well. 764 if you are a Robin's Nest member. An incredible price to work with on that one. You've got your Oxford Green, which is the most opulent, deepest of greens. Um, a natural canvas shade and an antique white. So a really nice neutral tone set to work with on that one. Again, 764 for a set of three of those. Incredible price. Um, and you've then got a saving of £4.33. So it makes it an amazing, amazing value of money to work with, okay? You can see there as well, you've got your hybrid acrylic metallic paints. You've got this in antique gold, copper and bronze. It's 14 .97, now 11 .99 and 10 .79 if you are a Robin's Nest member. Again, an incredible, incredible price to work with. And you can see there as well, you've got your mixed media shimmer sprays, blue, sunshine yellow, and orange. You've got a saving of £3.19 there because as a Robin's Nest member, you'll be getting this for £8.07, which is an incredible price. And again, your Dora waxes. So this is the Malahite. You saw me just using the Rich Gold, but the Malahite is £5.39 if you're a Robin's Nest member. And you're getting a good amount of wax within there. You're getting a decent quantity of wax, and you can also use this to blend with, to paint with, add it to your water bottles to spritz with. You can water paint with it and you can just basically run it across any project to give you the opulent finish. It's incredible. And there again is that rich gold that you just saw me using, which is an absolutely beautiful gold shade to work with. It's packed with all those metal filing flakes, giving that perfect Dora shimmer. £5.39 is your price you're paying today if you're a Robin's Nest member. £6.29 for the Distress Paste in the shade Antique Maroon, which is just exquisite. You've just seen there how easy it is to blend and shade with this, giving you an amazing finish for it. It is incredible. <clears throat> and as well, if you go to the Highlight Crafts website, 
you'll be able to see that all the products related to today's show. But of course, you can go around and navigate through the website and find other items. You can see there all of the wooden and uh, paper boxes that I'm going to be using through the demonstrations today. So these would be a great gift. That heart there for $3.99 is incredible. If you're going for a bundle of those paints, I'd pop that in your basket as well. You build it up and you've got yourself a little product there to work with over the weekend, which I think is a great thing to have. And the great displayed around the home for everybody or even as a little gift but those boxes as well imagine those all stacked in a tier with maybe a bit of ribbon around them with some chocolates in there painted with all of your favorite products it's, it really is quite beautiful so <clears throat> i'm going to do something different and if my voice goes i don't know what's happening <laughs> but um i'm going to go with it so what i've got is i've got those hexagonal paper boxes okay i don't want to show you how we can really sort of elevate these so my first one got down here in front of me. I'm going to hide all these bits first because I want you to see the end result. So we've got these and you can see there the size that you're getting. You've got your first one, then you've got your other other three there. So you're getting a set of four. So imagine actually building this into a set of tiered boxes. That is a crazy, incredible gift to have. Filled with a different gift each day. Brilliant. So I'm going to use the largest one to wear with so you can see exactly what I'm doing. But we're going to start with the hybrid acrylics, okay? Now, what I'm gonna do is go into, in fact, I don't know if I do have another piece of cardstock. In fact, I'm gonna work on here. I'm gonna do it on my big sketchbook, okay? So I want to save this piece. So I'm gonna work onto this big book here. And I've got my hybrid acrylics in the shade turquoise and lemon yellow. So I'm gonna give these just a little quick shake. And all you need to do is just finger over the cap like that, that you're shaking, I don't know, making a cocktail. Give it a good shake together like that just a couple of seconds, and then you know it's all blended together. Okay, and we're gonna use, hmm, favorite tool, a brayer. Okay, now this is an amazing feature to have, and I actually used to use this to get even pressure across my load and fold when I'm stamping, um, but you can see I've been using it for my paints now. So what I'm gonna do is go into that lemon yellow shade first, and I'm gonna use more of the lemon yellow because it's a lighter color, because of course with a deeper pigment, it can overpower. Um, so we want to only add a small amount of this to start with. So I'm going to go across the top, there we go, I promise that was the paint, and I'm then going to add a little bit of that turquoise, okay, so I'm going to bring this in, this comes in that a bundle of three again, so I'm going to add a small amount of the turquoise, and I think what I'm going to do is then bring a little bit more of that yellow in there to join up to the top, there we go, and you can see there how electrifying these colours are. The pigment is just immense that you're getting with these. It's so strong, it is intense across here. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is take the brayer and what I want to achieve is a perfect blend. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is pick up the brayer from the top and start rolling down. So picking up that paint, okay? So you can see we've got a full stretch there. And then as we move over to the left ever so slightly, we'll bring that turquoise into the yellow. I'm gonna keep going with that, okay? So bringing it all the way across and then bring the yellow over the turquoise. And you can see that from, oh, my brain is a bit squeaky. You can see from blending the two together, you then start to get a green in the middle. So this is how you can intermix your colors to make your own shades. So I'm literally going back and forward over here. Now this is great if you want to make ombre colored cardstock, but this is two shades of hybrid acrylic paint bonded together to formulate other colors. And you can see that by those blobs of paint at the, stop, at the top of that page, how intense that coloration is that you're getting through there. I mean, that is just incredible. Imagine that on just a card front with a black uh, cut out silhouette sentiment on there. That is a card done. And think of it, I mean, look, that is just dreamy when you look at that brayer there, it's incredible. But I'm gonna set this straight in some water, okay? So setting it, I've got a little water bath there being careful not to spill it. Um, I've set that in water because with the hybrid acrylic paint, as I was braying in there, I created friction. And of course the friction will heat up. And when you are washing your tools, okay, so I've got my tools here and I've got them in just some cold water. You never want to really wash or rinse out tools with hot water because of course to set and dry a product, you add heat. So that when you're actually, even though it's water, when you're adding hot water to something, it will try and dry it before it washes it. It's not quite the same way as washing clothes. It's a bit different, but the compound within the acrylic paint will react to the heat quicker than it would cold water. So give it a good thorough rinse with cold water, a bit of soap, and away you go. So I'm gonna set this to one side to dry. Okay. 
um, and I've got one here that is dry. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go straight into another one of those stencils that I made um, and I'm gonna lay it down. So I used the hexagon shape for this one and I've chosen to use hexagons because of course we've got a hexagonal box. So I'm gonna take a bit of that stencil tape again. I can see Elizabeth Dixon there, you've commented saying you're greedy and you love it all. And I love to use MDF, I do as well. I'd love to see some of your projects if you do work with MDF because working with MDF was something introduced to me quite recently because, well I say recently, over the past couple of years, because it's a smooth flat surface um, and it's really easy to paint and it's it, the paint glides across the top of it. So you know you're gonna get a really nice finish. But I'd love to see some of your projects. Um, white is the hybrid acrylic I'm gonna use. So we've got that bundle of three. So I'm gonna go into the white. I'm gonna take a little blob of this out onto my glass mat here. And I'm gonna use a small amount for this. So what I'm gonna do is pick up a stipple brush. I'm gonna go with this one. This one's seen better days, but you know, the older a stipple brush gets, it actually improves with age. It's a little bit like fine wine. And the reason for that is because when you've used it, with the more paint it takes on, it sort of reacts the same way. And as you use a brush, say if you're swirling or doing a certain motion with it, it it's sort of like, it's like muscle memory. Um, it sort of gets used to how it's used. So I always say my tools in my bag look like they've come out of a bin, but I think it's the best way for them because then they're used to it. The bristles are always clean. So always clean your, clean your bristles, of course. You want to wash the products out of there. But in terms of the way they act, it's entirely up to you. So I'm gonna pick up a little bit of that white acrylic there, okay? So I'm literally, what I'm doing is as I'm swirling this, I'm dipping it into that acrylic and picking it up a little bit. And then I'm gonna go over this through my stencil. Okay, so I'm brushing it onto the surface and I don't want to add a really thick pigment, okay? So you can see there, I'm blending it out and I'm using a circular motion for that because it means I can blend it out easier. You can see just there where I've gone, I'm not covering the entire thing. I don't want to oversaturate this. So I'm going in just in certain areas. And the reason why, and it'll all become clear in just a second why I've used paint, is because I want a, a block. Okay, so I want to block out certain elements of this. Don't want to use all of it, uh, but I want to block out some of the color because we've got that beautiful deep pigment, but then we can knock it back. So in your paper crafting, maybe you've used vibrant colored cardstocks, and you've used maybe a sheet of vellum to knock back the color and make it quite subtle. This is essentially what I'm doing here. I've got a really deep pigment paint and I'm going over with a dusting of white acrylic to knock back that color, but only in certain areas because we're stenciling. So we'll get that beautiful vibrancy popping up underneath. So I've knocked it back, set this brush in some water because we're done with that one now. Then we're gonna dip into these. Now these are your shades of your hybrid metallics, okay? So you're getting that beautiful copper, gold, and bronze in there. I mean that, those three colors, that's dreamy. That is incredible. Those are your three favorite metallics to work with, which will just go with any craft. Imagine that braid like I just did on cardstock to make the most opulent Miri card. 1097 for those three, incredible bargain. And I can tell you now, they are not gonna last because they are just beautiful. And at that price as well, you can use these as a, a sort of like a wax, like a finishing edge, or you can then just go with a big striking brush stroke, okay? So I'm gonna go into the antique gold first, put a little blob of this just on my mat. I do not need a lot of this one. You can see there how glossy and metallic that looks. So I'm gonna take my stipple brush again, and with your metallic, in fact, you know what, I'm gonna show you. So if I take a bit of cardstock, I've got a little bit of cardstock I've been using here, don't need it anymore. I'm gonna dip into a rounded brush. Okay, so it's more of a paint brush than a stencil brush. If I load this brush up with that paint, you can see then, as we paint with this, that there has created your own Miri card. Now that could be, it dries semi-matte, so it's got more of a, an excellent professional finish than um, a sheen. It actually has a really subtle faded, but then you can see all of the mica and metal flakes shining through it. It is just beautiful. And that's ways you can then cover. Maybe if you wanted to do, let's say, you've got a square of card, you could go all the way around the edge and that could be your matte layer. And instead of using loads of mirror card, you've used a tiny dab of your um, metallic paint. So that's just one way that you can actually cover things. And that's gone straight over white cardstock with one coat. And you can see the light is just reflecting off there. So I'm gonna set that in some water. 
put that to one side because I'll probably end up sitting on it. Um, so antique gold, I'm going to put a little bit more of that out. There we go. Go back to my stipple brush now. Let's have a look. So, oh, we've had a lovely question in from Jennifer as well, which is about if we can use the crackle, um, crackle effect from Cadence with the mirror shine. Okay, so when you were, well, if you were to do that, what you could do is you could do your crackle, say if you're doing it on a piece of glass, you could use your crackle on the surface of the glass, okay, and then wait for it to crackle. So as all the cracks appear, those cracks are then you can see through the glass. Um, so you could do that. There's different mediums of crackles. So if you've already got one of the ones from Cadence, let me know which one it is or send me a picture and I can see which exact product it is because they do quite a few. They do one step, two step, and they do it in a paste. Um, and you could probably achieve it with all of them. Um, so let me know which one you've got. If you were to paste it over acetate or glass, let it crackle. And then once that's dry, flip it over and add your mirror shine spray to the back of it that way. If this is the effect you want to achieve, every crackle that you see within there would be the mirrored effect, meaning you would actually get a beautiful finish. That's given me an idea. So thank you for the inspiration. But yes, definitely, um, you can do that. And I'd love to see the result that you get with it. So let me know how you get on. Um, I'm going to pick up some of that antique gold here. Okay, on my brush again. And then what I've done, because I've added that white base, it's probably, it's actually bone dry now. It's dried for us. Um, I'm going to go over this. And because we added that white, what it's actually done is given us a base for the metallic to sit on. And I'm not using it thick. Remember, we got it a really thick pigment when we just brushed it onto that paper. With this, all I'm actually essentially doing is I'm stealing the metallic out of it. Okay, and when I say that, I'm literally utilizing those metal flakes, that metallic shine, just to give me an extra opulent finish to this uh, design. So I'm shading it over the corners of here, like that. There we are. I'm not gonna do it all, um, but I'm gonna show you exactly what it'll look like. So you can see as we take that away, you've got areas where you've got a shine coming through from the metallic, but then you can see that white here, the, it gave the metallic a lift. So this one here that's dry, I'll put this to one side, you can see the dry one, you can see as it's dried, I mean, that just looks incredible, doesn't it? That's dreamy to work with. It just looks beautiful. So I'm gonna keep this one here. I'm just gonna take that little bit of paint off my desk because like I said, I'm not wearing my apron today. I uh, was meant to bring it in this morning and I can see it sat on my bedside table. I got it out and um, it's actually because I did a Cadence show recently at Crate and Craft, which if any of you joined, thank you. But um, I wore it for that and I left it. So <laughs> I'm a bit, yeah. So I'm gonna set that in water. Okay, so that's one side. What I'm going to do quickly is because we're using the hexagonal box, our fundamentals, okay, from Two Red Robins are perfect for this because we can use our hexagonal boxes with our fundamentals. So let's get the actual dies and the plates. Here we are. And this is the box. So what I'm going to do is go into the box and pick the die that matches. So let's have a look. Let's see what we've got. That one there looks perfect because what I've already done is cut one out in black. So I just double check that that's the right size. It's slightly smaller. Yes, it is. So I'm going to put my dies to one side and then I'm going to place this die face down on my design. And this is where you literally tie everything together. I love it. I'm going to use a bit of that stencil tape, okay? And I'm literally going to tear it in half and half again. A really small amount. So you can use this for your die placement as well. I'm going to place it here and here. And then we're going to take our magnetic sheet and our die plates. I'm going to place this straight over. There we are. So you can see there as well, your fundamentals are on the website, $22.99, and you're getting loads within there. I can't remember exactly how many dies you're getting. I think it's 25 dies. Yes, you're getting 25 dies for $22.99. That's amazing value for money. And you look at all the different increments and sizes that you're getting with that. There we go. So I'm going to pop this into my machine. So what I've done is I've stenciled in the hexagonal shape. Then I've used the die to cut out the hexagonal shape, and then I'm gonna put it onto the hexagonal box. So you can link all of these elements together. So if you're gonna get hold of those boxes, you can have a die to fit every single size lid. So if I take this out, here we are. Pop my die back on my sheet. Pop that to one side. What I've got now is a beautiful die cut element here with that beautiful hexagonal finish. <clears throat> so what I'm gonna do, I'm going to take that, it's just slightly warped, so I'm just going to fold it back with my hands. 
and I'm going to take some wet glue. So I'm using my pin flare for this. So this is where we can bring it back to paper crafting. So I'm going to go around the edge and then do a little zigzag in the middle. I'm going to line it up here. Got a bit of tape on there, take that off. So I'm going to line it up, place it straight down in the center, which is going to give me a lovely layer. So think again, <coughs> please do excuse me. You can create beautiful cards with this, not just for decorating boxes. That looks beautiful. So I'm going to layer this on top of the box. Here we are. So again, with our glue, you could use tape for this, but I prefer to use glue because we're using all our wet mediums today. So why not? I'm going to just go straight over there with that Let's tape, uh, glue that down. So that's the lid of our box now decorated. Now for the actual box itself, what I've gone and done is the exact same process with the square dies uh, fundamentals from Red Robins. So I've cut some little squares out of that sheet as well. So what I'm going to do is just quickly glue these on for you. So you can see I'm just going around the edge again with that really quick crafting. But with all of those cadence goodies that we've got, you can be recreating this. So think of little gift sets you can do. Think of maybe if it's not a gift set, I keep saying gift set, you might, you might just want to keep it. There are so much stuff I make and I think, do you know what, I want to actually keep this when I'm done. You can do that, of course you can, or because it's at such a good price and you've got so much longevity with your paints, make one for you and your friend. You can gift and keep. So I'm just going to glue this down onto those black matte layers there. There we go. So... There we are. So, <coughs> sorry, that just came out of nowhere. Um, we've got so much cadence as well coming in the future. So this is the perfect, let's call it an introduction, okay, as to what we've got for you. But in the future coming up, we've got so much to share with you, which makes me really excited. Um, as well, I've got a couple of questions I would like to ask you, if that's okay. And one is, what time would you prefer to see us? Okay, so... What time works best for you? Maybe um, do you work in the day or maybe in the middle of the day you pop out or you've got other commitments? Would maybe uh, later on in the evening be better for you? Maybe if we went live at around 5, 6 p.m. What works best for you? And also on some of our workshops and Facebook Lives, we have discount codes for you. How long would you like them to run for? Would you like a full day to spend them? Would you like a couple of days? What works best for you? Maybe you want to wait and see if you definitely want it, but you want a little bit more time to think about it, how much time works for you? Because we're, we're quite new to doing our craft TV here at Higher Life Crafts, and we want to make sure that you're getting the best experience possible, and we want to make sure that you're um, enjoying it. That's exactly why we do these. So if, depending on what, what, what your day life is like or what works best for you, please let us know because we really want to hear from you as well. So... I'm gluing these on. I've worked around the edges and because those nested squares worked perfectly with this, you can see I was able to go around all the edges to create these mats and layers for it. There we are. And I cannot wait to even share more with you because there's so many more exciting Cadence goodies coming. Like it gives me shivers because Cadence was the brand I fell in love with. And you start to understand the quality and the loyalty of a brand when People such as Stephanie, um, <clears throat> Stephanie has been crafting for all of her life and for many, many years now has been bringing you different products and it takes a lot for someone with um, that much experience <clears throat> to instantly be drawn to a product after using it for the first time and that shows the quality of the product because I've used so many different acrylics in my crafting journey, so many different paints, but picking up a paint and thinking this does the job for me. So. If you were to go into a shop and you wanted to buy a paint to cover maybe your bench in the garden and you wanted a small pot, you might be looking at five pounds, but then you also wanted to use it on your card and you wanted to use it on your fabric. You'd have to spend another five pounds to get a paint that's fit for that purpose. With this, it will do all of those jobs for you. So instead of getting five different paints at five pounds each and spending 25 pounds, you can get one for two pounds 54 that will do all of those projects. So when you're thinking value for money, when you break it down, it's actually unreal. I bought some terracotta plant pots yesterday for the garden. Our garden's a bit of a work in progress, not gonna lie. And um, the terracotta plant pots were like three pounds. And I thought, you know what, they're quite plain, but with cadence, I can completely transform them. Whether it's just stippling on them or brush stroking, 
you can do that and they can stay out all year because they're waterproof. So little things like that make you think a paint that can be used in my craft room can also be used in my garden, can also be used on my favorite fabrics. If you're putting it on fabric, if you're putting it down and you're brush stroking it or whatever process, fl flip it over and heat set it with an iron to whatever temperature the fabric will go. And that way you can then go in the washing machine at 30 degrees. So when I say this paint's multi-surface, it's universal and it's mind blowing. So you can see there what I've done is created that little box with the matte layers on there with the stenciling and we can actually, I did actually cut a band with the acrylic paint to add around the edge and I don't know if I actually want to put it on or not. I quite like it with or without. But this is entirely optional to you. You could then go in and paint that or you can rub all the waxes around it. It's completely and entirely up to you. If I was just to get, let's have a look. If I was just to get one of the waxes, there's my gold one, here it is. So if I was to take a bit of that wax and this is just showing you how you can dip in and out of products. I'm going to use a sponge for this one. So if I get a little bit on my palette knife here, take it off onto my glass mat, you can see how it just spread onto the surface. I can pick up just a little bit, just like that. And because we've used the, the gold metallic in here, we could brush it around the edges like that. So you can see I'm literally just scraping it around the edges and it catches all of the raised surface area. So what that's doing is highlighting the edges but it adds a really nice blend i don't want to cover the entire edge completely but this almost looks like a gilded finish now so you can see just from a simple technique like that I'll put the lid back on and it completely transforms it like that i mean that there you can see the shine coming off it now that's how quick and easy it is to use so all in this project what i've used is your hybrid acrylics so i went straight to my lemon yellow my turquoise told you it would happen there we go knocked it over Lid was on, we're fine. Lemon yellow and white, and I've used them all together to create a beautiful project. But this is the sort of thing you can be doing. So from everything that you've seen here today, we've created things that look like this, and we've created boxes like this. So you can go completely summery and tropical with these colors in 20 season, or you can take it to maybe a maybe quite country or farmhouse. So <coughs> again, I just want to run with you exactly what we've got on the show. Just in case I've missed anything, you can see exactly what we've got. Or maybe you've just joined us and you're thinking, what's he used to make those? I can show exactly what we've got here for you. Okay, so starting with those hybrid acrylic paints, we've got them in the turquoise, lemon yellow and white. These were $11.97 and they're down to $7.64 if you are a Robin's Nest member. That's an incredible saving there of £4.33, but also $2.54 a bottle makes that completely in the best value for money you are going to get on these paints. Um, and you can see their hybrid acrylic paints again. We've got a set of three, taffy, light lilac, and dark gray. An amazing value for money on this, £8.49. Um, but if you're a Robin's Nest member, £7.64, giving you a saving, total saving of £4.33, which is just brilliant. And you can see these are all intermixable. They're water-based as well. They'll go onto all the surfaces that we've covered. These at full price individually should be £3.99, so £2.54 for a, for a singular one is not just a saving singularly, but a saving as a whole. It's amazing. So you could stock up, maybe your favorite colors are running low, or maybe you're thinking some acrylic paints I've used before haven't quite fulfilled what I wanted them to do. You will not be disappointed. And a third bundle that we've got for you is your Oxford's Green Natural, Natural? Yes, Natural Canvas and Antique White. We've got a set of three there for you. Originally $11.97 down to $7.64 if you're a Robin's Nest member, saving a $4.33. And then again, your hybrid acrylic metallics. You saw me using these early. They're a beautiful shimmery set of three colors of antique gold, copper, and bronze. And again, your mixed media shimmer ink sprays. These have your mica powder that settles in the bottom. I've not quite had time to show you these, but I will definitely be showing you these in the future of how to use them. £8.7 is a Robin's Nest member. We've just got so much to get through. I just can't wait to share it all with you. Dora Waxes, we've got this in the Malahai, £5.39 if you're a Robin's Nest member. A beautiful velvety touch. Um, this has got a, an essence of green gold in there as well, so a really opulent finish with this one. We've also got the rich gold in the Dora Waxes as well, £5.39 if you're a Robin's Nest member. So again, a great saving on this one, but an incredible price as it is alone. You're getting a lot to work with within this pot.
This dress paste, again, this is a must have for me. I have it within my stash. It's always in my craft bag, no matter what project it is I'm doing. £6.29 with this one, and it sells out a lot as well, so I'm so happy we've managed to get some of this for you. £6.29 if you're a Robins and S member, and you're getting 150 mil in there. So for everything that I've covered in today's Facebook Live, but also anything else you want to check out, go to the Highlight Crafts website. You can see there, there's absolutely everything there allocated for you to be able to locate and be able to shop it free and happily and easily. You get in there your creative made of paper mache hexagonal boxes. You get four within this particular bundle. They're tiered and stacked on top of each other for $4.99. So if you're going for a bundle of paint for $4.99, you've, you've, you've only spent a small amount to be able to create a beautiful gift, which is completely bespoke and independent. So you can see there, you've got so much to play with. That treasure chest as well, how beautiful would that look? Decorated for a children's bedroom to put a jewelry in there, or maybe a little money box as well. So there's loads to work with, and it's all sanded and finished, so you've not got to do any prep work with that. It's literally ready to go. And we've chosen these particular products for you to use with the cadence because they go hand in hand. So if you're using wood, you just literally put it straight onto the wood. There's no need to prime it. You don't have to do anything with that as well. So please continue to add your comments on there because I love to hear back from you. It's great to be working with Cadence again and being able to share these techniques because as much as I'm still learning, second I'm learning, I'm sharing with you. So if it's a new technique or a tip, I'll make sure to share that with you and share yours with us as well because I'd love to see your projects. Whether you've combined a bit of your Lemon Lane or a bit of your Two Red Robins with some of your Cadence paints, um, that's really exciting. I'd love to see some of that and we all love here, here as a team as well. So I hope you all have a lovely day. Uh, tune, in, tune in for the next one next week and I will see you again very shortly. Thank you very much for joining.